Our today's topic is about posting breaks for the bursting mind, especially when they're involved in our longer study sessions, just like um, preparing for the exam when they have to do a um, lot of uh, slavers covered in their revision sessions. So we will look at uh, how the boosting breaks will help them. As you know, um, nowadays, everybody is involved in HSC exams and the students are under exam stress as they have to study longer hours to prepare for the exam. All these study tools are electronic gadget, as you can see, especially when they are studying they are on the computer and when they take a break they use either their phones or watching tv again which is again a mental activity so in all of these kinds of activities the body is less involved and the brain is heavily churning all its energy that's why the mentally they start to feel more tired and it creates a lack of balance between the body and the mind in early days before computer studying uh, used not just the brain but body was involved there too for example picking up a book and reading involves sitting in a different postures including walking and when you write you are using your hand and you sit in another posture nowadays everything is on a computer so or a laptop so you sit in a one position and do all those activities that have created more brain work which has disturbed the body-mind balance, especially when you are sitting in the position for a longer time and your brain is fully hooked up in those learning activities. You can also refer to your brain as being hijacked or fully hooked up as you are unaware of your body natural tiredness and stiffness. Eventually, your body um, needs a bit of break and your brain gets disconnected from your body Forgetting that the brain also needs energy means a lot of oxygen and a blood supply. So that's why it's recommended that the study ses uh, sessions or a study uh, learning period should be segmented, should be broken into 30 to 40 minute segments or a maximum of one hour stretch. And but after that, you need a bit of break. But in most cases, the brain is using most of the energy. And you need to think of a, a activity which is in, involve mostly the body part. So brain get a break from the activity. So students should do ideally extensive body use and minimum brain activity in order for the body becomes active again and use more oxygen to make the brain active. We can call those breaks as a boosting break because they give you a boost again and make you less tired and more energetic and active. These breaks ideally sh should uh, be between 5 to 15 minutes max. Now we can explore the what kind of uh, breaks you can get. You can divide them into uh, two categories. The one is uh, indoor and the other one is outdoor. And you should have a list of options for you according to your physical capacity, your time, your home environment, and plus uh, the what kind of uh, the arrangement you have. The weather also is another uh, factor as well. So we can divide them indoor and outdoor. With the indoor, you might uh, do some of the uh, boosting breaks where you don't need anything except yourself. Are you the other thing, uh, category where you can use some of the things like a skipping rope or a table tennis and thing. We'll talk a little bit more. And outdoor it, it's the same situation. If the weather permits and uh, you want to do outdoor, you can do a simple one or you can play something which requires some resources. Let's talk about uh, the indoor uh, boosting breaks. So in those breaks, uh, you, as I said before, you don't need uh, something other than the, that in call some cardio exercises like star jumps, commando jumps, simple push up, a shadow boxing. Within two or three minutes, you'll be, uh, your heart start to pump fully, which means you are producing a lot of oxygen and a blood supply, which will help your brain to active again. And you will see that uh, um, the warmness within your hand. 
the if you look at you have some resources like you have a skipping rope you can make anything skipping rope nowadays so you can uh it's an excellent exercise within two or three minutes you'll f get the same result and it's also fun and if you are a little bit uh, more uh, tech savvy and you have a v fit it has uh, the games in there which will give you a little bit of a uh, sense of competition as well like a hurdle go and the other other game you do in there in a v fit if you have a little bit bigger house and to have a table tennis you can uh, play indoor and you can play with uh, another person like your sibling a parent or your mate who's been invited over for combined study but it the catch is you might take a little bit longer than you know five minutes so be aware of that and on the same time at the same time you can invent your own game as well which should not be longer than five to 15 minutes and which should give you the same outcome means you're feeling fresh and your heart should pump more oxygen towards your brain so anything which uh, require your brain to be used again we cannot we we shouldn't call it a break because break is uh, something where you want to disconnect and do something more physical but also if you are unable to do physically some of the cardio thing you can do simple body stretch as well or you can do uh, mindfulness where you try to empty your brain the meditation or uh, doing a pray this also helps you or simply doing a uh, house chore also a good thing because uh, for example washing dishes and cleaning up your table also great example for your brain to get relaxed as well and it creates a positive uh, mind again and you will feel refreshed let's now talk about the outdoor ones when we go outdoor if you want to try some of the order the simply without any resources the simple uh, form of outdoor activity will be just going for a relax by walk or a jogging the only catch is in that walk you should not be engaged with your mobile too much you can go for uh, quite relaxed watching surrounding trees feel the um, the environment and and if you have some of the resources for example if you have, have a portable outdoor basketball you can play there and you can do with the, your sibling you can do by yourself and but it should not be more than as i said um, five to ten minutes and similarly again the word of caution is you must be aware of your time while you're on that boosting break don't stretch these breaks to the point where you begin to take up your study time or you are so tired after doing that you don't want to do any more anything you want so these are the list of the things uh, we can think of but we really want to know what's your uh, boosting break idea as i said you can invent your own please uh, share through the comments give us a feedback about the video and uh, like and share it and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to so you will know when we upload more ideas and give us ideas which uh, topic you want us to cover thank you very much and see you again in another video